kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video let us see how to calculate the cost sheet now the question is on the screen kindly take the screenshot of the question when i am solving the problem please keep the question with you now if you observe the question there are two types of salaries one is drawing office salaries and one more is counting office salaries so drawing office salaries is should be considered in factory overhead and counting office salaries should be considered in office overhead because it is a ban banner manufacturing company and some people will be hired to design the banner so they will be working under factory so you should consider the drawing office salaries under factory overhead and counting office salaries under administration or office overhead now then gas and water and manager salary if you observe they have told that 3 by 4th for factory and 1 by 4th for office which means 3 by 4th of the total gas and water should be considered in factory and 1 by 4th of total gas and water should be considered in office now let us see how to solve this problem now first we have direct materials used that we need to consider direct materials used how much is the direct materials used it is 3,18,200 next we have production wages how much is the production wages it is 2,50,000 then we have chargeable expenses how much is the chargeable expenses it is 30,000 now add all these three items we will get 5,98,200 this is our prime cost this is known as our prime cost now for this we need to add factory overhead we need to add factory overhead what are the factory overheads we are having we are having drawing office salaries drawing office salaries how much is the drawing office salaries it is 10,000 rupees next we are having rent rates and taxes related to work rent rates and taxes related to work how much it is rent rate and taxes related to work it is 15,400 next we have depreciation depreciation on plant and machinery next depreciation on plant and machinery is to depreciation on plant and machinery it is 6500 next we are having gas water see the total gas water is 2800 but for factory it is only 3 by 4 when you multiply this you will get 2100 next we have managers salary managers salary again 2400 sorry 24000 is a total manager salary in that you need to allot only 3 by 4 for the factory you will get 18000 next we have hire of crane so you would have hired a crane to lift the heavy objects that again comes under factory overheads now add all these items you will get 57000 now Add 5,98,200 plus 57,000. You will be getting 60, sorry, 6,55,200. 6, what is this 6,55,200? It is known as our factory cost. Now, for this we need to add office and administration overhead. We are supposed to add office and administration overhead overhead how much is the office and administration overhead first we are having counting office salaries counting office salaries how much is the counting office salaries it is 18800 then we are having rent rates and taxes which are related to office how much we have 
4000 then we are having director's fees director's fees how much is the director's fees it is 12000 then we are having gas and water total gas and water is 2800 but for office over it is only 1 by 4 when we multiply that we will get 700 then we are having managers salary how much is the total manager's salary total manager salary is 24000 but for office overhead it is only 1 by 4 when we multiply we will get 6000 then we are having general expenses general expenses is rupees 4000 then we are having depreciation on office furniture so it is related to office furniture so we need to consider that in office overhead so depreciation on office furniture how much is the depreciation on office furniture it is 1000 now add all these we will be getting 46500 now add 655200 and 46500 we will get 7 lakh 1700 we are getting 7 lakh 1700 what is this this is called as cost of production this is cost of production now for this you need to add selling and distribution overhead we need to add selling and distribution overhead what are the selling and distribution overheads we are having first one we have carriage outward we need to deliver the goods for our customers for that delivery charges will come expenses that is carriage outward that is 5400 then we are having bad debts written off we are having bad debts written off that bad debts written off is 8500 that also we need to show it here then next we are having travelers salaries travelers salaries how much is a traveler salary that is also 8500 then we are having traveling expenses how much is the traveling expenses the traveling expenses is 3600 now add all these four items you will get 26000 now add 71700 plus 26000 you will get 727700 what is this this is our total cost now we know the value of sales so leave one line and at last you write the value of sales how much is the value of sales it is 780000 now to find the profit we need to minus sales from total cost so sales is 780000 cost of sales is or total cost is 727700 you need to subtract this now we will get 52300 this is our profit hope you have understood this question very well and you would you can ask me one question that is in question we have cash discount allowed you may ask me why we have not considered that in preparation of cost sheet remember one thing the cash discount allowed it is related to a cash item so it is nowhere related with our cost so cash discount allowed and donations there we have donations these two are not included in the preparation of cost sheet illi cash discount allowed anadana kottidare matte donations to charitable trust anad kottidare ideradana naavu cost sheet preparation alli consider madodilla hope you have understood this video the notes for this i have put in the first comment kindly download the notes and prepare well thank you if you have any queries regarding today's session kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com